Hi, in this lesson we'll cover the system browser and the zones that we just created. So first of all, let's go in and make our zone schedule. So let's go into schedules here. And then we'll go down to, we got a filter list. Okay, well, we can leave them all checked. So we'll go down to HVAC zones. Click OK. Now, I think for the HVAC zone, uh, we don't need that much information. But let's go ahead and let's just go with name here. We'll select uh, perimeter. There's a whole host of things you can add to this zone schedule. Uh, it's perimeter. And then let's go ahead and add gross area, which is going to be important for this. But this is going to be basically for heating. And so gross area. Click OK. So there's our heating, our zone HVAC zone uh, schedule for this assignment. Now we want to continue on here. We're going to go back to our mechanical space. Now these spaces were developed from the rooms. So how do we go about viewing this information? So if you have a schedule that we just created, you can go to the schedule and we can see the information right here and then you know we uh, have a default always have a default and we got the zones one through four the perimeter and the gross area that we created from our, our model so we can we can add other areas of analysis areas if we want but so Now, what if you wanted to see what spaces goes to which zone? So we're going to go back to our, use the system browser, this project browser to go back to our mechanical level one. So now here, once we're here, we can go in and, and use uh, what we call our system browser. Now, to turn on the system browser on the view tab all the way to the right in the user face drop down, you click it and you will check tech mark system browser. And once you display the system browser, you'll see a variety of things. Right now, we're looking at um, systems. You can see mechanical, piping, electrical, and, and we don't have any systems because we didn't have any created. Now, if you click the drop down to the Right here, you have an option called Zones, and you click Zones. Now you're listing the zones that we created. Now you do have one default zone. Every Revit project you create, it does have a default zone. And by default, all your spaces belong to that default zone, unless you create a new one. So, that's, so now to see the spaces that are in Zone 1, you can click the plus to the left. And if you hover over one, you'll see it'll hope you'll see it'll highlight over each of the elements. See that? Next expand zone two. You see zone two, expand. You can go to the individual spaces. Let's go to zone three. Or I can individually click. And they'll pick up here. So the system browser basically shows you all the zone. So if you click over four, there's there's zone four, and then you go up to the conference room here. So moving on, um, that's pretty much it.
So this is the system browser, and it shows you the spaces that belong to the zone. Now you have to control the resize or add a remove column to the system browser. So as a quick review, we looked at the system browser, we created a zone schedule, and how to uh, highlight different areas in the zone. So if you want to see more about those spaces, you enable the system browser and you click here and you can check and see each room and vice versa. So you're able to see the action zones and all the spaces in the system browser. So hey everybody, thank you for watching this video. Um, we covered all of our zones and spaces and now we'll move on to more analysis. So thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe. That was meant a lot. Bye.